Hello everyone. So welcome back to my channel. This is Dr. Neha. Today I've come up with a very important video, which is an update also uh, in terms of management. Okay, if we are going to talk about the management. Any update that we have seen for rabies, tetanus, diphtheria, hepatitis B. Uh, before I begin, just a small this thing I teach on an academy platform, everybody. So you can catch me live every day at 9 a.m. on the an academy app, guys. Okay, on the an academy app at 9 a.m. where I take free PSM classes. So do download the app and attend my PSM classes for a more interesting PSM learning. All right. So first thing, guys, very important is a chart for rabies. All right. So rabies may we have three categories, more important category one, two and three. All right. When you talk about category one, most important is licks on intact skin. All right. Skin over here is not broken. It's a lick on intact skin. Aberration or minor cuts. Ye hota hai aapka category two. Yahan pe agar aberration or cuts hai without bleeding. All right. Without bleeding. It is category category 2 but if we talk about category 3 it is deep tissue injury or you can say single bite okay single bite or multiple you can also say multiple transdermal bite take a single bite ho gaya, multiple transdermal bite ho gaya. also one thing very important is with bleeding bleeding has to be present so that is category 3 plus contact with bats okay contact with bats it not that the bat has to bite someone no other self contact be okay bat say it's category three plus licks on mucosal surface yeah mcq as a licks on mucosal surface contact with bats these can come as mcq please remember if you have aberration or a cut but there's no bleeding it will be category two so category one may we have simple wound care category two may we have wound care plus anti rabies vaccine okay Okay, vaccine and in category 3 we have wound care vaccine and immunoglobulin any place where immunoglobulin is given in category 2 bite yes so in category 2 all right so this is an exception category 2 may in case of an immunocompromised person all right in case of an immunocompromised person like we talk about an HIV positive person okay in category 2 also we will give vaccine plus hum immunoglobulin bhi denge in category 2 is that okay so this was about the classification now see all category 3 bites we are giving immunoglobulin all bites from wild animals are taken as category 3 bites very important immunocompromised individuals jo hai, like HIV AIDS immunosuppressive those on steroids cancer chemotherapy or congenital agamoglobulinemia immunoglobulin should be given with both category 2 and category 3 exposure this is also an important MCQ so what are the things that we are giving subse important ho that post exposure prophylaxis please remember our national rabies control program tells that even if somebody has been bit by a vaccinated dog we still have to go for this post exposure prophylaxis it is given in every case of street dog bite it is given even if the person has been bit by a vaccinated dog and even suppose we catch the dog and we observe the dog for 10 days all right you will not stop the vaccination it will go on so according to our program it is given in the form of intradermal regimen this is thigh okay thigh red cross regimen so in india we follow this according to national rabies control program india may intradermal regimen is followed okay which is very important 0.1 ml per dose is given okay we give this so we are giving intradermal on day 0 3 7 28 you can say write it as 2 2 2 0 and 2 0 because it's not given on the 14 days so it's given on two sides total number of per visits kitta ho jayega four visits humko karna hai aur har mein do injections lagenge theek hai site of injection adults mein deltoid muscle okay uh, site of injection basically uh, for this intradermal is both the shoulders everyone all right yes uh, that is very very important intramuscular when we talk about this is sn regimen one entire vaccine while this is one 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 
1 and 1. So 1, 1 number of injections are given on day 0, 3, 7, 14, 28, 5 total number of visits. Pre-exposure profile access kya hota hai? in case of veterinarians or those who work in the forest. You can give it intradermal, intramuscular, any which ways. 0.1 ml per dose, day 0, 7 and booster on either 21 or 28. Or intramuscular may be up entire vaccine while they sakte ho 0, 7 booster either on 21 or 28 days. So number of injections ek hi lag rahe. Visits teen ho rahe. Important thing is ki national rabies control program mein, what is important national rabies control program mein everyone we for post exposure profile access we follow the intradermal regimen. What about re-exposure? Re-exposure may suppose the person gets bit again alright more than three months. Hai? After three months from the last bite, hai? from the last bite, usko fir se dog bite ho jate. you can give an intradermal or intramuscular regimen. Intradermal may 0.1 ml day 0 and 3, intramuscular may when entire vaccine while day 0 and 3. So, two visits honi chahiye plus immunoglobulin if given once, okay, immuno in re exposure, immunoglobulin given once, all right, immunoglobulin given once need not be repeated again. Okay, aapko fir se usko repeat nahi karna hota hai, which is a very important point. Okay, but agar a re-exposure ho raha hai less than 3 months mein, then nothing has to be done, nothing has to be given. Alright, what do we do? We only do wound washing. Is that clear everyone? For re-exposure less than 3 months, nothing has to be done, only wound washing. So this is about how we are going to manage rabies. Bahut important hai post-exposure profile access in India we are following the intradermal regimen re-exposure may look at the cutoff more than three months then only you're going to give vaccine on day zero and three and re-exposure may we have to see Kim Apis complete history of uh, vaccination in the previous pre-exposure or post exposures uh, through and if it's less than three months then only we are going to do wound washing nothing else okay Second disease which you must remember is tetanus. Tetanus may there has been an update like category. We make four categories. Category is full immunization within five years. Only wound care, only wound care. Whether it's a clean wound or an unclean wound. Clean matlab saaf sutra wounds. There's no too much of damage, nothing like that. But if it's full immunization more than five years ago, but less than 10 years, wound care plus tetanus toxoid single dose, both clean and unclean. Mein. More than five years ago, full immunization mila tha, but less than 10 years. Category C is full immunization more than 10 years ago. So clean wound may only wound care and tetanus toxoid single dose. Unclean wound may wound care, tetanus toxoid single dose plus human tetanus immunoglobulin is also given. Agar category D hai where the status is not known, unknown it and or the person has never taken immunization for clean wound, wound care plus a complete course of tetanus toxoid immunization for unclean we will also add immunoglobulins. So where are we adding immunoglobulins category C mein or D mein? Category C mein unclean wound mein bhi hum add kar rahe. more than 10 years ago. D mein we are adding it when nothing is known. Now full immunization if we talk about about tetanus it is given at six weeks ten weeks and fourteen weeks it's given in the form of uh, penta one penta one penta two and penta three so that is the three doses then we give booster of tetanus in the form of dpt vaccine so dpt first booster all right and the dpt second booster everybody this is given five to uh, this first booster is given 16 to 24 months and five to six years and tetanus toxoid may td1 and td2 all right we give tetanus diphtheria now this is given at 10 years and 16 years so this is full vaccination full immunization for tetanus seven dose all together okay next coming to diphtheria diphtheria mein jo sabse important cheez hai wo hai ye contacts contacts mein na for close or household contacts the important thing that we have to know now is that 
एरिथ्रोमाइसिन और पेनिसिलिन जी इज गिवन फॉर सेवन डेज टू ऑल कॉन्टैक्ट इरिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ द हिस्ट्री स्टेटस इम्यूनाइजेशन स्टेटस दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ठीक है एरिथ्रोमाइसिन सारे कॉन्टैक्ट्स को दिया जाएगा फॉर सेवन डेज एंड वी विल स्टॉप द एंटीबायोटिक्स आफ्टर द कल्चर रिपोर्ट्स आर नेगेटिव बट वॉट अबाउट द डिफ्टीरिया वैक्सीन डिफ्टीरिया टॉक्सॉइड If the status is not known or the person has taken less than three doses, first diphtheria के doses कब लेते हैं Like I told you, सिक्स टेन and फोर्टीन weeks में we take what? सिक्स टेन and फोर्टीन weeks में we take DPT पी टी वन डी पी टी टू फर्स्ट डोज एंड डी पी टी थ्री दिस इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ पेंटा वन पेंटा टू एंड पेंटा थ्री सो दीज आर द्री प्राइमरी डोजेज देन वी टेक टू बूस्टर डोजेज वी जस्ट डिस्कस्ड एट सिक्सटीन टू ट्वेंटी फोर मंथ्स इज डी पी टी का बूस्टर वन ऑल राइट डी पी टी का बूस्टर वन एंड फाइव टू सिक्स ईयर्स में डी पी टी का बूस्टर टू एवरीबडी ऑल राइट सो प्राइमरी इज एटलीस्ट थ्री डोजेज वी हैव टू टेक सो इफ द स्टेटस इज अनोन ऑफ द कॉन्टैक्ट ऑल राइट और लेस देन थ्री डोजेस यू विल गिव डिफ्थीरिया टॉक्सॉइड एक दे दो एंड कंप्लीट द डिफ्थीरिया टॉक्सॉइड सीरीज विच इज टू प्राइमरी एंड टू बूस्टर्स ठीक है एक आपने यू गिवन एट द सेम टाइम एंड रेस्ट यू गोइंग टू कंप्लीट इट एटलीस्ट फोर वीक्स इंटरवल्स होना चाहिए diphtheria if if the person has taken more than 3 doses and last dose was taken more than 5 years ago then give single dose diphtheria toxoid but if the person has taken more than 3 doses and the last dose was taken less than 5 years ago then you are not going to give any extra vaccine just continue the national immunization schedule as per the स्कीम इज इट ओके सो इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग टू नोट ओवर यर इज की डिफ्टीरिया के कॉन्टैक्ट में सारे कॉन्टेक्ट देर इज अबलिंग एट होम उज गॉट डिफ्टीरिया देर इज एन अदर सिबलिंग वॉट आर यू गोइंग टू डू फॉर दैट सो फॉर द कॉन्टैक्ट यू गोइंग टू पुट अम ऑन द एंटीबायोटिक्स फॉर सेवन डेज एंड देन अकॉर्डिंगली यूल गिव द वैक्सीनेशन कट इट केसेस में आप कैसे मैनेज करते हो गिव डिफ्टीरिया एंटी टॉक्सिन आफ्टर स्किन सेंसिटिविटी टेस्टिंग रेंज ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड टू वन लैख इंटरनेशनल यूनिट ऑल राइट एंड एंटीबायोटिक्स इज आल्सो गिवन फॉर ट्वेल्व टू फोर्टीन डेज वील कीप टेकिंग सीरियल कल्चर्स डिफ्टीरिया टॉक्सॉइड टू बी कंटिन्यूड ओके इम्यूनाइजेशन इन कन्वेलसेंट फेज For all the carriers, we have to give erythromycin for 10 days. Please remember, in diphtheria immunization, this is very important. Okay, immunization does not prevent. Okay, prevent nahi karta. Does not prevent the carrier state in diphtheria. This is another golden point which you must have a note at. ठीक है एंड कैरियर्स को भी आप एंटीबायोटिक uh, पे डालोगे केसेस को भी डालोगे कैरियर्स फॉर टेन डेज यू गोइंग टू स्टॉप एंटीबायोटिक आफ्टर टू कंजिकेटिव नेगेटिव ब्लड कल्चर्स सो मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट अपडेट ओवर हियर इज दैट फॉर कॉन्टैक्ट्स यू गोइंग टू पुट देम ऑन एंटीबायोटिक फॉर सेवन डेज कमिंग टू द लास्ट थिंग हेपेटाइटिस बी हेपेटाइटिस बी में प्री एक्सपोजर वैक्सीनेशन प्रोफाइल एक्सेस क्या है तीन डोजेस हेपेटाइटिस बी वैक्सीन के पड़ते हैं दिस इज विच फॉर्म ऑफ वैक्सीन गाइस दिस इज अ रिकॉम्बिनेंट वैक्सीन मेड फ्रॉम डीएनए टेक्नोलॉजी थ्री डोजेस आर गिवन जीरो वन मंथ एंड सिक्स मंथ फोर वीक गैप बिटवीन फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड डोज एट वीक गैप बिटवीन सेकेंड एंड थर्ड डोज नाउ इज समी हैज इज एन एक्सीडेंटल एक्सपोजर टू ब्लड विथ नॉन हेपेटाइटिस बी वायरस फिर क्या करोगे यू गोइंग टू गिव अ पैसिव इम्यूनोग्लोब्यूलिन 0.05 to 0.07 milliliter per ml per kg body weight two doses 30 days apart first dose should be given within 24 hours of possible exposure like post exposure prophylaxis for hiv may first dose should be given within 72 hours okay yahan pe it should be given within 24 hours passive protection lasts over here for 3 months ठीक है हेपेटाइटिस बी वैक्सीन आल्सो यू शुड गिव व्हिच इज वन एम एल ठीक है हेपेटाइटिस बी वैक्सीन फॉलोड बाय अनदर टू डोजेस एट वन एंड सिक्स मंथ्स अभी आपने पढ़ा था ना डे जीरो वन मंथ सिक्स मंथ्स सो सेम यू कैन आल्सो गिव इन केस ऑफ एक्सीडेंटल एक्सपोजर बट दिस वैक्सीनेशन प्रोग्राम द फर्स्ट डोज डे जीरो मैक्सिमम सेवन डेज पे पूरा स्केड्यूल कंप्लीट कर लो सो यू कुड पे आस्ट एक्सीडेंटल एक्सपोजर ऑफ ब्लड विद नॉन हैबी वायरस डू वी गिव पैसिव एंड एक्टिव बोथ बोथ पैसिव एंड एक्टिव इम्यूनाइजेशन इज डन सो हेपेटाइटिस बी इम्यूनोग्लोबुल इंडिकेशन आर अक्यूट एक्सपोजर टू हेपेटाइटिस बी वायरस न्यूबॉर्न इन्फेंस ऑफ कैरियर मदर्स 
sexual contacts of hepatitis b cases post liver transplant for hepatitis b virus protection lactation or pregnancy is not a contraindication hepatitis b vaccine please remember is the most free sensitive vaccine most free sensitive so we have to protect that freezing of the vaccine hame nahi hone dena okay so this was a short class on updates of some important diseases thank you so much everybody if you like the video put in the comment section and i'm going to see you soon again thank you